The way you learn lessons in life is like you go into something when you're young, you have tons of energy, but you hang out with all your buddies, talk to them, and then just put your helmet on and go race. And then as you get a little older and everybody gets faster, you realize you need all the energy you can just to be concentrated for, let's say, 20 laps. After history that being both national numbers before that me and Ben get back together as a rider and a crew chief, we really know what all the senses are. We really know what all the muscle memory is and the things you have to feel. Even without any words from Ben, I can tell what he's feeling on the motorcycle. I would say over the past few years, there's been a change in the industry where there's been more of a push towards performance-based products and performance-based motorcycles. But now, after years of experience, I'm capable to change the motorcycle to make him feel better. When a rider feels comfortable and he's not scared, he goes fast. So that's kind of when the uh, tornado happened. I mean, and that's really what it felt like we were in. Uh, we had a short time frame to work with. Turns out on the starting line, he gets a perfect launch. If it's actually one with the track and the human, like you, you don't do that much work. Actually, the horse is doing all the work, but your confidence level comes up and becomes really fun. You get end up, like in this case, surfing the asphalt on your motorcycle. It's awesome. is incredible. We have Luke Leatherman that has backed this with his love and concept for power development. I'm like, you're flying around, I'm going to flash this, watch this. And you put more effort into that than you did in your racing career. But on the bikes, it's, it's odd because back then you would try so hard on something like, you just keep the faith, you know, and like just believe in yourself and the bike and go. Ready to race. What's your strategy for today? Go fast. <laughs>